ICMA, Instituto de Ciencia de Materiales de Aragón. In an ever-changing world, in a world of constant needs, a study of materials offers us a plethora of possibilities. In response to these needs, the Aragon Materials Science Institute, ICMA, a joint research institute between the University of Zaragoza and CESIC, was founded over 30 years ago. Its clear objective is to contribute to advancing knowledge in the area of science and technology of materials. At ICMA, we cover the whole process, from research through to development and in-society transfer. People are our most important tool and material, the creativity, effectiveness and capacity of our researchers. Superconductor materials can carry a current with zero resistance when they are cooled to low temperatures. At ICMA, we are working on a project to develop a new wind turbine using superconductor materials. At ICMA, we are developing the computers of the future. At ICMA, we're trying to combine materials science, low temperature physics and nanotechnology to make a quantum computer, or at least a first prototype. Our plan is to use bits of quantum information, or qubits, which are going to be like atoms, specifically magnetic atoms within a material. Thus, we're working on integrating the molecules into devices that will eventually enable us to carry out all the basic operations on these qubits. At IGMA, we are working to create more effective solar panels. At the Aragon Materials Science Institute, we've been working on a new project aimed at the preparation of a new type of so-called third-generation photovoltaic devices. At ICMA, new organic semiconductor materials are also being prepared in order to improve electron transport in these systems. At ICMA, we want to control light. At ICMA, we have a group working on nanophotonics and quantum circuits. Basically, the intention is to confine electromagnetic radiation, i.e. the light that propagates in a very small region in space, and which may be either a point or a waveguide. This can already be achieved with dielectric or transparent waveguides, but we're trying to confine light even more. In order to achieve this concentration of light, we need materials that conduct electricity. We are studying a material that has appeared recently, graphene. Despite being only one atom thick, it has spectacular electromagnetic properties. We've been working on fuel cells at the Aragon Material Science Institute for over 12 years, mainly on solid oxide fuel cells operating at high temperatures above 500 degrees and even up to 1000 degrees centigrade. It's possible to use them in small devices to produce electricity, for example in a mobile phone, or to generate electricity to power big buildings. At ICMA, we have developed a series of tools based on the use of lasers that allow us to control the structure of matter on the microscopic level. Holography, direct laser writing and digital printing have enabled us to improve the performance of liquid crystal displays or increase the capacity of optical storage systems. In the field of regenerative medicine, we are exploring the use of microstructured surfaces as supports for cell growth, trying to generate structures that mimic the cell environment, guiding its growth and morphology. At ICMA, we are studying new materials for biomedical applications. Magnetic nanoparticles attached to anti-tumor drugs would, with the aid of magnetic field, allow us to concentrate the drug within the tumor, thus minimizing the side effects of chemotherapy on the rest of the organism. We are also developing nanogels, nanovesicles, and polymeric nanoparticles in general, which are capable of delivering drugs into diseased cells and controlling how and where the drug is released. 
This is a smart strategy which allows the dose and administration time and target area of the drug activity to be optimised so that it is not toxic to other body parts. The Institute is pursuing two transversal lines of inquiry with researchers from different areas working together. One of these lines is dedicated to the development of advanced scientific instruments and we've been involved in this for over 30 years. When we started, such instruments were not bought in, but developed by our own scientists, who then used them for their own experiments. The other line of research covers our work at large international facilities. Large facilities are rather like great cathedrals of science. They consist of large-scale instruments that one country alone would not be able to construct and maintain. Hence, there are various countries that contribute to the development of large-scale facilities, and our Spanish scientists travel all over the world to such facilities to carry out experiments. For example, in Grenoble, the Institute has an instrument with which we provide a service for the whole of Spain. We're not only users of these large-scale facilities, but also involved in the management committees. There are also two units whose objective is to be in direct contact with society at large. One of these is the Scientific Culture Unit. This unit organises different activities to publicise and disclose the topics being studied by ICMA. We work in laboratories and what we do is make new materials. Materials for many purposes. The other main area is the Technology Transfer Unit, whose mission is to identify the scientific capacities of our researchers. Equally, it has to be aware of the needs of the business fabric. Furthermore, an intrinsic feature of ICMA is its internationalization. We work with different international bodies, universities, research centres, companies and naturally students who do their doctoral theses with us. At ICMA, we have developed the world's first laser furnace. It combines conventional thermal treatment with a laser that hardens and modifies ceramic tile and glass surfaces, thereby achieving very precise and attractive decorative patterns. This technology has been transferred to industry. It is contributing to the development of new and improved quality ceramics and glass products, while increasing energy efficiency and lowering greenhouse gas emissions. Another successful case has been the development of helium recovery plants, based on a new technology developed and patented by Thesic and the University of Saragossa and transferred to Quantum Design International. In coordination with BSH Spain, the Institute has created an innovative laser marking project. The collaboration between BSH Spain and ICMA started in 2005 when we signed the first collaboration agreement. Since then we've signed over 10 collaboration agreements, highlighting the potential of the Institute to transfer knowledge from the academic world to industry. Our most important project is focused on laser marking for aesthetic purposes of the glass ceramics used in our home appliances. The main goal of the project is to develop an industrial process which is evolving at the same time as the... The benefit of this collaboration not only lies in the knowledge transfer, but also in the transfer of persons. Throughout this collaboration we've trained more than 50 students, and currently we have seven individuals working on their PhD theses, driving the scientific expertise of the Institute towards the goals of our company.
Creating science. Researching. Innovating. Transferring knowledge. ICMA, Instituto de Ciencia de Materiales de Aragón.